So welcome back everyone. As you can see, we are on the breeding loft at the moment. Um, decided to give you guys a little update on breeding. And I'm gonna turn the lights on. So yeah, um, it's been about, I'd say a week since I did the last update on these guys. So um, there's quite a little bit to update at the moment. Uh, so yeah, the last time we put some straw on on the lofts in the corners right there there's still a little bit left but yeah um so now about a week later uh, most of these guys have carried a decent amount of nest like that one sitting in the bottom and uh, the one in the middle the new paul sturks cockbird hasn't done his best uh i don't know looks like the grizzle is a little bit lazy as well but yeah, the, that one has carried a decent nest as well. Um, looks like we got an egg as well. Yeah, I wanted to give you guys an update on the egg situation as well. Uh, so this guy actually, well, this is a cook bird. His hen actually laid the first egg, um, I believe three days ago or something. Uh, the date should be on there, so, but yeah, he's already, starting to incubate um, yeah it's kind of weird they usually start sitting on the eggs when they've laid two but I oh know we don't have a we don't have a date on it yet let's put it back but yeah this guy was first uh, it's pretty normal for him to be first because he was paired up um, to that same hen i think that's one of the those um he was paired up to that hen uh, this season when he flew um as a widower so that's actually the father of 611 uh, and the mother as well it's the same same exact couple that we got going on but yeah it uh, looks like these guys are, might be second then um might be pretty freshly laid i haven't yeah, must be pretty fresh. Um, that's the hen. So yeah, for the rest, I haven't actually been on this nest. Looks like this hen has to lay soon. Um, by the way, she's sitting. Probably has to lay tonight. It's about four o'clock at the minute. Uh, they usually lay around five or six. Um, so yeah, probably by this, this morning, we're gonna have some more eggs. Uh, might even have two eggs in that nest by then so yeah let's move in here so last time we left off um those that cock birds uh, was already paired up but i think it switched hands i'm not sure um, but yeah uh, the one remaining that hasn't uh, wasn't paired up yet was that guy and the uh, little meaty cock bird right there but now he has paired up, so yeah, all of these have been paired up now. Um, so yeah, that's the one we, the two time ace pigeon, the dark one, he's 10, 10 years old, old or 11 even. Um, yeah, we snipped his tail and his fan feather, so that's gonna be a little tryout uh, if he's still fertile. Um, and now we do have this couple over here. Looks like they carried a decent amount of nest already, but no eggs yet. We might have to put a little bit more straw on here. And they have a little bit left, but not the most. This one usually tends to make a pretty big nest, but um, he hasn't since he hasn't been fertile. But yeah, so we got two eggs on this loft. Oh yeah, don't forget this one in here. Uh, looks like she hasn't laid yet, hasn't carried much nesting material either, so. But these are just some spare ends. Let's go to the top loft now. Let's see if anything has changed on there.
turn the light on so you can see a little bit better. Um, oh yeah, looks like it. Uh, so yeah, where we left off on this loft was, I actually did a small uh, part on this loft in one of the pigeon killer videos, I believe. So yeah, um, if you haven't seen that, go watch it. If you have, uh, we'll start off from there. So yeah, um, all of these guys were paired up very nicely. We do have, did have some issues um, with him and her switching couples, but that, and that has now been resolved. Um, yeah, we had that closed and then took turns uh, closing these uh, nest boxes so they can see each other. But now they're definitely paired up solid so they won't switch over again. That's why we have it open at the moment for both of them. So it should work out as far as I know. But yeah, let's start up top here. Uh, this red couple, we might call them red couple because they're both reds. Um, but yeah, looks like they carried a decent amount of nest material. These are both young birds actually. Um, yeah, looks like this one has already laid. This one did have some trouble. He was, that's from that couple down there. Um, he tends to be a quite aggressive, um, but yeah, looks like the hen was one of the first to lay eggs. Might actually be not fertile. Now, if they lay that quick uh, after being paired up, you can have some trouble with the eggs not being fertile, but uh, yeah. That's why uh, I like to wait a little bit longer. Um, so more eggs tend to be fertile then. But yeah, uh, this grizzle right here carried a decent amount of nest materials already. 833, looks like he still has a job to do. Really like this couple to be honest. Yeah, someone asked me about the ventilation sit situation on this loft as well. Uh, we did, did put some chalk on the floor a while ago. But yeah, this loft for some reason. Uh, yeah, you can see these are the fans that we have. And you can see little things down in there, the round. They go uh, straight outside. So airflow should come through them. We might actually have to drill some holes in this wall so the ventilation can pass over the floor and keep it dry a little bit. But that's kind of iffy when you do it in the winter. But yeah, uh, let's move on. This one has done an amazing job filling up the nest bowl. And might have to lay soon, actually. Let's move up here. We got another egg. Uh, again, these ones were fighting a little bit too hard. Um, first pairing up, so... That egg might be not fertile, I don't know. Might be the case. Looks like a good sized egg, actually, but... You know, it might not be fertile. Oh, you guys were out of focus. But yeah, um, might not be, not be fertile, I don't know. We'll see in a few days. And then this couple down here, this is uh, 636, one of the better birds on this loft. Um, together with obviously 611 right there, the best bird on this loft. Um, yeah, looks like he hasn't had an egg yet. This dark grizzle is actually one of the grizzle strains. Um, it does have a little bit of um, I can't think of his name at the moment, but I uh, might later. Um, looks like this couple, the small red cockbird right here, uh, has done a great job filling up the nest. He's paired up to one of those young grizzle hens. But yeah, overall, actually the two uh, couples that fought the hardest, aside from him, he also fought really hard. But yeah, those were quite if you to pair up and there those are the two ones that laid the quickest on this loft which is quite uh, weird but yeah i'm not complaining i will complain if they're not fertile but they might be they might not be it's kind of a toss-up um, but yeah uh, anyways you guys this is gonna be the quick update video on the uh 
breeding situation. So four eggs in total and might, might be a lot more tomorrow morning, but I'm not gonna make a video then. I'll make a video in a couple of days probably. So yeah. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video and as always leave a like, comment, subscribe and have a good day.